Shalom, first and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakudash. Double honors to our elders and apostles at Great Millstone who taught us all this truth. Shalom to all the Achim in his truth and sincerity. Starting with the 144,000 and the one third of the nation of Israel, all right, which we hope we're a part of. And, uh, you know, I'm, this your brother, uh, Kabari Call. I'm coming back at you with another lesson, Lowland. You know, it'll be edifying, as you can see. The title is, Thy Truth Shall Be Thy Shield. All right. Uh, quoting uh, Psalms 90, 91 and 4, which I'm going to start with. All right, because we're in, we're coming into uh, into times of uh, great judgment. All right. We're coming into a serious time of judgment. All right. You know, th th things are, uh, things are getting worse. All right, uh, for Babylon the Great, and for you Babylonians, all right. Which and, and really, you know, even though things might get rough, even for us, you know, us that are in this truth and knowledge, really, it's all it's all for good, you know, because we want this place to be destroyed. This is what, this is what, uh, you know, we've been preaching. You know, everything we've been preaching is gonna happen through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Al all right. Everything that we've been taught from our elders and apostles on down, and that we've we've also taught ourselves, you know, because we, we we're teaching what was taught. Everything that that you know that we're saying through the Spirit is going to happen. All right, you know, we, we you know we speak, we bring out the prophecies, you know, Jacob's trouble, you know, we bring out the MOTB. All right, the hour of temptation, martial law. Okay, there's going to be more plagues. You know, look at uh. That that new uh, pneumonia outbreak over there in uh, China, all right. Which Lobo and I do a lesson on that. But these things are just gonna get, ramp up, all right. So I'm gonna start at the top, Psalms 91 and 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. The secret place of the Most High is in this truth, all right. It's a secret place because not everyone has access to it. You know, it's it's a sanctuary. And like it says in Ezekiel, I want to say it's uh, in the fourth chapter, you know, uh, Salaki, if I'm wrong, you know, uh, correct, you know, whoever watches this, if you if you know, you know, Bubba will shall put it in the comments. You know, I'm not going to get it for time's sake, but, you know, this is a small sanctuary. Not everyone has access to it. You know, this isn't for uh, the, the masses of the people, okay, like the, these uh, false religions, you know. Like Christianity, like Islam, all right, like, like uh, uh, Hinduism, or whatever other false, uh, you know, Buddhism, whatever other uh, false, you know, philosophies are out there. Okay, it's not even for the majority of of Israelites, you know, which are so-called Blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. It's not even for the majority of our own people. Even even the even day of the circumcision, like the Scripture says, this is only for the elect, all right, the remnant which is a small number, but it says, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my power, and him will I trust, all right? So Yahweh, that's the name of the Most High God of Israel, you know, Yah means he, Hawa means is or exists, you know, he is, he's in everything, and the name of his only begotten son, our Lord and Savior, all right, whom, whom we're patiently waiting for to return and save us. His name is Yahweh Shai, which means he delivers. All right, Yah, he, Yahweh Shai, deliver. So the ones that dwell in the secret place of Yahweh Shai, which is us, which is us, Lord willing, we remain. You know, we that that's that's how we feel about about our Lord. You know, he's our refuge. He's our he's our hiding place. You know, we we put our trust in him, and we're gonna need to in these times. We can't put our trust in, in uh, you know, in anything carnal, anything of this world, because this world is, 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 is uh, it's uh, fading away. All right, this world is passing away, as the scriptures say. So we have to put our trust. We got to put all our trust in a higher power, which is Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. We got to put all our eggs in one basket. All right. So it says, uh, surely he he shall deliver thee. From the snare of the fowler. All right, the snare of the fowler. The fowler is speaking about E, all right? The so-called white man, our man enemy. 
okay, and you, you other nations, but mainly the so-called white man, all right, because the, which are the uh, biblical Edomites, the snare is all, is all these, you know, distractions, it's all these, these uh, you know, wicked devices that this devil, you know, has, has put out there, all right, which the main wicked device is that RFID C hit, all right, which is, you know, Revelation 13, 16 through 17, all right, the MOTB. So the Lord is going to deliver us from that. It says, surely he will deliver thee, which means, you know, truly, you know. He's for sure going to deliver us from that. We just have to trust in him. All right, he said he was going to do it. All right, <laughs> it, we're reading it right now. It says, and from the noise and pestilence, the noise and pestilence is speaking about the, the nuclear warheads, which is how Babylon the Great is going to be destroyed, all right? Babylon the Great being America, all right? Just like he destroyed, you know, uh, just like he brought great destruction during the time of Noah by way of a flood, this time he's going to bring it by a flood of fire, all right? The only thing is he's not going to, uh, you know, he's not going to destroy the whole earth like he did in the, in the time of Noah, but he's going to destroy the whole land of Babylon the Great, all right, which that is going to change the planet. It says, he shall, uh, he shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings thou shalt trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. So that's what's going to shield us in, in these evil times to come. All right, because we, we need that, man. We need that mercy, man. We we need, you know, those sure mercies of, of David. We need that, man. All right, more more than ever. Okay, because you can feel it in the air, man. Like, we're getting close. Okay? So, you know, we're going to need this truth to, to shield us. All right? Because in that, in that day, the, the people who, do, who don't have the truth, man, they're not going to have anything... To shield them, you know, from from, from all the from all the the, the the wild stuff that's about to happen on the planet Earth, you know, these people who don't have the truth, they're, they're just gonna be caught out there, all right. But us that have the truth, you know, Lovelin, Yahweh Shemayashai takes not His Holy Spirit from us. That's why we must continue uh, to pray that as well. You know, we must continue to pray, you know, Psalms fifty one and eleven, that He takes not His Holy Spirit from us. You know, Lord, Lord willing, if we're those men, man. All right, we're going to be shielded in that time, all right, Lord willing. Okay? And that's, that goes into the next scripture. All right? I want to keep reading, but I'm, I'm trying to uh, get the, get through these scriptures. So I'm going to get the next scripture. That goes right into this scripture. All right, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 33. Look at the time, 144. This is Isaiah, chapter 33 and 6. <coughs> <laughs> and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So like it, like it said in Psalms 91 and 4, you know, thy truth shall be thy shield and buckler. That, that's that wisdom and knowledge, all right? The, what, what, what we're preaching, all right? What we're teaching. What we've been taught. Okay. You know, the, the, you know, there's, there's a reason why the Lord made us, you know, when we first woke up to the truth, you know, when you go through that, that phase where, where you're just sitting down all day watching videos, you know, watching GMS videos, watching breakdowns. There's a reason why the Lord did that, man. All right? If we're of the elect, if we're one of his men, which we hope we're a part of, when that time comes, bro, you know, all, 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 all that, we, that we learn, the Lord is going to allow us, you know, to remember it. He's going to help our, our memory, okay? Just like that movie, uh, The Book of Eli, which is a spiritual movie. You know, he he, he had the, the whole, uh, the scriptures all within his heart, his lob, you know, his mind. All right? And it says, uh, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. And it's his treasure because the people who don't fear the Lord right now, see, it's one thing to, to fear the Lord when, when all hell is breaking loose, you know, like when your life is is in danger, you know that it's an easy thing to to start praying then. But if if you're praying before all hell breaks loose, you know while while everything is still good, you know society is still going, 
you know, you're still able to, to freely move around in society. You're freely able to go to the, to the grocery stores. <coughs> All right. And, but, but, you know, pretty much what I'm trying to say is like when everything is still good and you're, and you're trusting in the, in the Lord and praying to him, you know, that's the fear of the Lord and that's the treasure. But the ones who aren't doing those things, when all, when all hell breaks loose, it's going to be too late for a lot of people. All right. Okay. That's what the Lord is to be feared, man. All right. And we're coming into some 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 fearful signs, uh, fear, fearful times. Salakius. We're coming into some very fearful times, and we got to stay in the right spirit. Okay, speaking to myself first and foremost. So next scripture I want to get is uh Proverbs chapter Proverbs chapter eighteen and verse ten. It says, the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. So the name of the Lord, which I already mentioned, Yahweh, that's the name of the Most High God, and Yahweh Shai, the name of the Only Begotten Son, all right? That's a strong tower, all right? And that's that's at the, the, the forefront of that wisdom and knowledge, okay? That's the foundation of it, the name. All right. That that name is 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 the most important component of this truth. Okay, because like it says in the book of Acts, all right. Uh. Uh. Pretty much, you know, roughly paraphrasing that those names. Uh. There's no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. All right. So those names are extremely important. And that's why we always start our lessons giving all praises to those names, and we got to constantly pray to those names and call on those names, all right? We got to, uh, uh, you know, even <laughs> even wacky tacky Christians say, you know, we got to have a personal relationship with with with, uh, with the Lord, you know, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. We got to have, build up a personal relationship, and how do you do that? By praying to him, by constantly calling on, on those names, all right? And the, the elders and apostles, you know, all the way on down, you know, to, 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 you know, brothers, you know, have been making videos going into praying because we're in some very serious times, all right? That can't be stressed enough, and it's only going to get worse. Okay, so we got to uh, lock in, all right? <coughs> so that was it on that. I'm going to uh, get my last scripture. The book of Psalms, chapter 9, that's like this. Psalm 9 and verse 10. Well, I'll start at 9. It says, The Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. Like I said, we're coming into times of, of trouble. All right, we're coming into very uh, severe times, all right? With this, this damn devil, you know, E, he's going to come down with great wrath. Like it says in uh, the book of Revelation 12. So we're coming into these great, these 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 great, greatly, uh, you know, troubling times. But the Lord is our refuge. We have to believe that and trust in that. It says, and they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. For thou, Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, has not forsaken them. That seek thee. So the ones that know his name, you know, will trust in that name. Like I said, by by, by praying to that name, by calling on that name, all right? You know, even when bad stuff happens, you know, praising that name, all right? Whether it be something good that happens to you or bad, we must always praise that name. All right, and the Lord... Won't, won't will not forsake them that seek him. That's why we must continue to do this work, continue to to do things that are pleasing and right in the sight of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Once again, I'm going to end off by giving all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rakakudash that will honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught us the truth and shall belong to the elect.